Hi guys, so today I'm replacing the valve cover gasket on the driver's side of this Ford Ranger and uh, what I need to do is get all this stuff out of the way. Uh, so the first thing I did was, uh, <clears throat> these were my spark plug wires. These as you can see I already removed them, they just kind of plug in. All you have to do is just hold this and pull this away. Uh, make sure you label them. Uh, so I kind of did label them, you can see one through six uh, and uh, just take a note of which wire goes to which cylinder kind of showing <clears throat> so this is the front of the vehicle with the two headlights uh, these are the two um, valve cover gasket and then the slender where the wires are going to so and this is the orientation of the uh, where the plug where it plugs in so Number one kind of goes in here and two so I just kind of laid it out. So the first thing after we get all the wires out of the way, uh, those are the wires <clears throat> going to the other slender head, uh, is remove, undo this. So this is just a bolt, uh, unscrew this um, and uh, this kind of comes off. This is the electrical harness and you just need to just get it out of the way. A few things uh, on my truck since I bought this used was uh, a few things is already unmounted so there is this bracket that goes uh, at the very bottom and there are screws at the very bottom but this guy for some reason this guy whoever did some work on this truck never put a screw down there so it's already out but if in, in your case uh, you may need to remove that screw uh, it's also being held up right here so I'm gonna go ahead and remove this or there are four screws that is holding this so I think I'm just gonna remove the entire bracket uh, since I have to anyways once I get this out of the way uh, I'll go ahead and remove this away from it so there's just two bolts holding this uh, this will come away I don't think I need to mess with this because I think it's I have enough clearance that I can get this out but in case if I don't I can always unscrew this from from here or the two screws and this will be away from it um, there's another pipe right here um, I think this is the vacuum and I think I'm gonna just pull this out right right from here so this one just if I kind of snug it pull it out it'll come out the next one is this fuel line this you will definitely need to get out of the way the best way is back there you'll see there are two screws so if you take those two screws off this whole pipeline there is a joint right here there you go now you can see it better two screws and this will come away and these are rubber hoses so this will give you flexibility to move it out of the way and uh, this clip is just holding this on so just kind of slide this underneath that and this will give you enough clearance to get the valve cover out of the place this uh, thing of course you need to get this out of the way so I think what I'm gonna do is just uh, kind of pull this off uh, this is uh, just easy to just kind of <clears throat> Uh, take it out and then unplug this uh, any of this uh, wire harnesses that are kind of holding on to that you can just pull it out those are uh, this is some of the vacuum hoses that you can unplug to get it out of the way okay so here's what I did so far I removed the two screws from there uh, the bottom one was already missing I removed one screw from this electrical harness this is screw I already showed you guys that I had already loosened it up so this connector the big connector this is screw right here uh, once I loosen this up this comes right off uh, but you also need to remove the bottom screw to get this loose uh, you can remove this connector but instead of what I would end up doing was kind of pry open this guy so it's out of the way and uh, I'm just gonna remove this from the holder uh, and uh, this guy is nice and loose now so I think I should be able to just uh, get this out of the way oh there is another wire harness at the very back I have to use my oh there you go this should just come right off and uh, just undo this so this way one thing will be out so of the you picture. can see uh, this guy is out of the picture this guy is out of the way now I think I'm gonna just undo the came off and uh, so this is you can just hold this back so this gave me all this clearance this I think I can get away without even pulling this out uh, it's not too much in the way 
there is this harness. Uh, so I gotta figure out. Oh, so there is this clip right here that you're gonna have to uh, pull it out. But guys, make sure be careful because this thing can can fly up and you can lose it. So once you remove this clip, uh, if you got a screwdriver here, just try to lift it up, and this thing will spring on. <laughs> so make sure you're holding it with something or tie a fishing rod or fishing wire or something. Okay, so I removed the clip and this thing came right off. Another thing I did was uh, see this hose right here. Um, there was a screw holding this on so I think I just lifted this um, because uh, I couldn't get the connector off so uh, this will get this this is tied to this clip so it's also going to remove this so there's this connector on the back and what I did was uh, kind of grab this clip with the plier and pushed it backwards so I kind of removed the clip and pushed this back came off okay guys so there's a trick to get this out uh, and nobody showed this on any of the videos that I've seen on YouTube this connector once you pull this hose away you have to twist this counterclockwise you can see and once it twist you come off and once it twist enough then you can just pull it right off uh, and this is the trick to get this out um, you can use bungee cords or kind of tug these way there's this coral this this thing I need to figure out how to remove this I think oh there you go that wasn't too bad you can just pull this out and uh, kind of have it out of the way this is another vacuum line and this guys just keep track of what you're removing so this electrical I'm just gonna stick it inside so it's out of the way uh, seems like everything is coming Apart pretty good. Uh, and I'm gonna go ahead and unscrew these, get this away, and uh, these two as well. So it's a little bit give me enough room, and then I'm gonna worry about our fuel line. Okay, so here's the fuel line, and you can see it's from the front of the truck, and uh, it takes the hex and it takes 27 hex, so that's what I'm using to unscrew that okay I just removed the two screws and uh, put some rag there to catch any fuel so let me show you from this side so I haven't removed it let's see how much fuel do we get oops I we did get some and you can see this uh, rubber seal so if you have a bad rubber seal you may want to think about replacing it but mine looks good and uh, there will be some fumes of the gas so be careful and uh, I think I'm just gonna tug this out of the way there's nothing here holding this on so I think it's pretty loose Oops. this is the pipe I think I'm missing some screws from the bottom as well whoever did some work at this thing didn't really do a good job but uh, we'll get this out of the way that there are six bolts that is holding this valve cover um, so I think there are two at the corner two in the center and then two right here and then this whole thing will come right off so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, start unassembling some of the stuff okay so I got my valve cover gasket out and uh, here's what it seems like apologize for the loud noise they're cutting the grass Anyway, so what you need is a plastic scraper and uh, clean out any gunk that you may have. So in my case, I do have some here and you want to make sure you do it towards the outside um, so any particles will fall outside. Make sure you don't use metal scraper. We don't want to damage the surface. And I'm just going to go around and uh, clean up any residue of the old gasket that I see. The more cleaner it is, the better seal you're going to have. See, I cleaned it pretty well. Use a rag to wipe off any residue and uh, make sure everything is ready. Now I'm gonna go ahead and work on my seal. So just take a pry. Be careful uh, if you have a something needle, that's better. Or if you can just pull it with your fingernails, that's even great. Uh, you don't want to use anything abrasive. You don't want to damage the surface. So I'm gonna remove this. 
uh, clean it out pretty good and then put the new seal in and the rubber gommets that goes right here so right here so as you remove this you're gonna see these rubber pushers and you want to make sure you replace these as well they should come with your kit and I want to be replacing those as well okay so I removed my old gasket and you can see it was uh, very brittle it kind of broke while I removed it this is my new one and uh, I removed the bolts in orientation so the way I removed them was like this so I know which bolt goes where and I'm gonna go ahead and replace these with the, the new ones I got my gasket in and this is my other valve cover gasket I got the uh, grommets in as well and I'm going to be using this uh, Loctite uh, gas um, RTB gasket maker and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just put it right at the uh, where the bolts are because that's where the leak mainly happens and some of, some of the U-joints so not all the way around but uh, it does help guys so uh, you don't really have to use it I'm just using it for precaution here's where I applied the Loctite and uh, I went a little over, you don't really have to do it that way, but up to you. Mine went pretty easy since everything was out of the way. And I'm just going to go ahead and start tightening the bolts. Make sure you tighten everything by hand to have enough grip and then start tightening in cross pattern. You don't want to be tightening one side too much. So do this a little bit, that one, that one, that one, and then the middle two. Okay, so I had to take this out of the way. Uh, Right here. Uh, but everything went well. I tightened this up. I don't know what the torque value is, but I kind of went with my gut feeling. Okay, so to wrap up this side, I put everything back to normal. Um, I followed the guidelines for these as I had showed you guys before. Uh, that connector on the back side went back in. I put this connector back. Um, this was on the back of this uh, module right there. Then I connected the main um, the main wiring harness. So I had to connect this uh, this bolt first for this bracket, and then I bolted this one on top of it. So this took care of this side. Um, then I mounted this part back the way it came off. I'm missing the bracket, but uh, it connected the connector um, on this part on this particular this particular piece. Uh, some of you guys may have bolts at the bottom. I did not have bolts, so I did not put bolts. For some reason, somebody had already taken it out and they never installed the bolts. But uh, uh, it's not making any noise or anything like that, so I'm just going to leave it like that. Uh, so you may have to put the two bolts that you took out <coughs> initially from your side. I connected this connector back. Uh, put the put this thing back in. This particular one went back in with the pin so of course insert this first and then put the pin in um, I connected this particular hose back there it just kind of slips right on um, then I connected this uh, since I had moved this uh, this is the fuel line so I connected the fuel line back as you can see those two and I made sure uh, make sure there's no fuel leak you know once you you don't want to start the engine you want to just turn the ignition on and see there is no um, no fuel coming out from there uh, so put a rag there and just kind of look for any fuel uh, then I connected this guy back here so connected the vacuum line um, I also mounted this guy with the two screws and the connector and those were all the things that I had removed for me to do this job um, Meanwhile, I also replaced the spark plugs. You can watch in my other video. I'm going to leave it at the very end. Um, so I think that's pretty much it for this side. I'm going to move on to the other side. So if you guys want to watch the other side, uh, watch my other video. And guys, if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and like the video. And don't forget to click on the bell button so I can bring more videos like that for you guys.